What happens when you return back to work? Hello, my name is Ty Wilson. I'm a Georgia workers' compensation attorney practicing law in the state of Georgia. And a common question we get is, what happens? I've been injured on the job. I'm out of work. I'm receiving weekly checks. And now my employer is asking me to come back to work. And so what happens if I return back to work? Well, one of the first questions that you have to ask yourself as an injured worker is, are you physically capable of returning back to the work that you were doing prior to your injury? Some injuries, you're able to heal and get back to the same type of work, and that's great. However, there are some injuries that are far more serious, and you are not going to return back to work. And in fact, um, your doctor typically will tell you you're not going to be able to return to the same type of work that you were doing. And so what happens in those cases? Well, in those cases, it could be that the employer is just bringing you back to work so that the insurance company can stop paying you those weekly checks. It may not actually be a long-term solution for you. And so you want to really think long and hard about if you are physically able to return back to the work you were doing. One, two, you need to know that once you do return back to work, if that's what you choose to do, that your weekly checks will stop. And at that point, you have a deadline that starts running and it's what's called an independent medical examination. You get one independent medical evaluation with the doctor of your choosing, paid for by the insurance company up to the statutory amount for your injuries. However, you have to have it scheduled within 120 days of your last income benefit check. If there's any questions, it's always recommended that you reach out to a Georgia workers compensation attorney. But this would give you an opportunity for a second set of eyes, um, a second opinion, if you will, based upon what your doctor has said. If the doctor's releasing you to some form of light duty work and your employer's trying to bring you back to work, they're working to cut those checks off. And that's fine if you're gonna get back to the job. However, if you're more seriously injured and you're not able to get back to that job, what do you do? Well, this is where you wanna look into potentially exercising what is called an independent medical evaluation. It's always recommended you speak with the Georgia Workers' Compensation Attorney. There's deadlines and things are moving pretty quickly and you need to know who to go to and a, certainly a Workers' Compensation Attorney can help you find a doctor who will listen to you and then discuss with you what is in your best interest. One last thing you need to be concerned about if you are returning back to your former job is what happens if you re-injure yourself? Well, depending upon how the injury occurs, you may have a new injury. It's not something you wanna look forward to and it's certainly not something you wanna get involved if, in if you can help it. However, it is something that's there should you get re-injured depending upon if it is the same body part that was injured before or not. Again, always recommended to speak to a Georgia workers' compensation attorney. We hope this information's been helpful. And if you're ready to speak with an attorney, feel free to give us a call at the number on the screen. If you're not, you might wanna consider looking at some of our special reports. If you look down in the description area below the video, you will see some links uh, to order some special reports. We've written these special reports so that you can try to get your most common questions answered and hopefully help guide you into the right decision moving forward. It's not a substitute for an attorney. However, it does help give you a better understanding of the world that you're thrown into as an injured worker. Thank you. We hope that you'll watch our other videos and good luck.